Okay, so hi everyone, this is JB Borromeo and thank you again for joining us in this episode of the New Generation Entrepreneurs. And um, I know that uh, our last episode was too long ago, I think last month. And so this has been a long overdue episode. And again, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for standing by. Thank you for following this, this show and this uh, program. So again, you will learn from a very... Uh, uh, experienced infopreneur today in this episode she is a a facebook ads expert and she has been serving clients um, abroad and locally here in the philippines and she has spent thousands of dollars and she has managed thousands of dollars of of ads spending in facebook and she is the founder of new smart marketing where she teaches uh, how to maximize facebook for your business and to really you know, um, take advantage of this platform for especially for entrepreneurs and for for big companies. And so, without further ado, I'll be turning you over to our interview video with Miss Nina Mendoza. Hey. <laughs> um, I'm very very glad to be here um, with all of you guys, and I'm going to share a lot more on my stories. And then, yeah, thanks JB for having me here and there. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. I know you're very busy. I know you have so many things on your plate, but uh, still, you gave us this opportunity to learn from you. So, all right. So, first question. Um, Nina, kwentuhan mo naman kami. How did you start? How did you become an infopreneur as a messenger, as a teacher? Um, what inspired you to take this journey? Okay. So, um, back in 2014, actually, 2000 inspired me na lang muna. So, simula tayo, parang backtrack. Um, what inspired me to become an entrepreneur or um, an entrepreneur as well? Um, so, dati pa lang, mahilig na ako magnegosyo, ganyan. <laughs> um, bata pa lang ako, uh, nagkitinda na kami, tapos ako kung ano-ano yung pinapasa ko ng mga racket, ganyan. Um, when I was in college, I can remember uh, yung mga classmates ko. So, meron mga group projects, di ba? Um, since di naman kami lumaki na well-off, ganyan. So, sabi ko, parang, parang hindi na ako humingi ng pera from my parents uh, para sa mga projects. Ang ginagawa ko, pag may mga group projects, ako yung gumagawa ng mga group projects lahat. Tapos yung mga group ko, sila rin naman... Um, tumutulong din sila, like surveys, pero most of the time, ako yung gumagawa ng presentations, ako bumubuo lahat. Tapos, hindi ko na sinisingil yung sarili ko. <laughs> Tapos, sila lahat nagbabayad. <laughs> and that was wow. fine. So, parang, ba- parang bata pa lang ako, binibenta ko na yung service. Tapos, I can remember when I was first year high school, ang, ang layo ng binalikan ko, no? But anyway, <laughs> I can remember first year high school ako, nag-tutor ako. So, after school, uh, meron akong sinututor. First year ako nun, grade 4 yung sinututor ko. Um, ginagawa namin yung assignments niya, tapos nag advance reading kami, tapos pag merong exam, ay ginagawan ko siya ng reviewer. Based din dun sa reviewer, nire-review ko siya, ganyan. Tapos yung projects niya, ginagawa namin together. Um, yun. Tapos, uh, well, what inspired me um, to become an infopreneur, it started um, with freelancing. Kasi in 2014, I started um, doing freelance work online. So, di ba may freelancers naman na um, pag mga photographers, mga videographers, freelancers din naman sila, di ba? Pero ako, yung online freelancing, it started back in 2014. And then, um, what inspired me? Uh, so, sa freelancing, what inspired me was my daughter talaga. Kasi... Um, I used to work in BPO um, companies and it requires most of the time graveyard shift and then I live in Bulacan and then most of the time companies are in Manila. Mm-hmm. So, one time I was traveling three hours papunta tapos pa away three hours. So, that's a total of six hours, ba? Kasi, um, Bulacan ako tapos uh, tagig yung work. So, paka question nila, bakit hindi ka na lang nag ang tawag nun, nag-apartment or nag-rent, yeah. I, I, I rent before sa Alabang. 
Kasi siya, hindi wow. ko na pwede mo, hindi ako pwede mag-uwi ng North to South. Tapos yung Manila, um, tinry ko siyang um, hindi mag uwi So, anyway, eh, meron na akong daughter. So, ayoko na kumalis pag gabi. Um, ayoko na ng graveyard shift. So, inaral ko yung online freelancing. It was really new to me. I didn't know how online, um, how infopreneur works, how digital product works. So, yun. Yun yung nag, doon ako nag-start. There. <laughs> paano, paano mo na-discover yung online freelancing? Saan mo siya unang narinig, narinig. or nabasa? O, or na Back in... Back in 2007-2008, uh, I was with Accenture. Meron akong friend, sinasabi niya, boardmate ko siya dati sa UP, sa Clark. Um, sabi niya, atin yun, try mo yung Upwork. Actually, hindi, odes.com. Sabi niya, writer kasi siya. So, sabi niya, try mo yung odes.com. So, doon ko siya unang narinig. Yung sa odes. Tapos, nag, nag-sign up ako. And then, um, Nagtatry ako mag-apply. Normally, ang ina ko parang mga Excel jobs, data entry, tapos mm-hmm. customer service, kasi yan yung background ko. Pero hindi ako nakukuha. Tapos, um, back in 2011, I joined yung br- kay Brother Bull na Wealth Summit. At that time, yung Wealth Summit, hindi pa ganun kalaki ngayon. Um, for those of um, your listeners or yung mga nanonood na um, hindi alam yung Wealth Summit, para siyang conference yearly na inorganize nila Brother Bo Sanchez. And um, right now, alam ko, parang nasa mga 4,000 attendees na. Nung time ko na nag start parang mga 100 lang kami. So, very intimate talaga siya. And then, um, it was like a two-day event. Tapos, different um, set of um, speakers um, teaching uh, stock market, teaching um, mutual funds. Tapos, um, si Jomar Hilario was teaching about yung digital online marketing. Parang mm-hmm. yun, online marketing. Tapos yun, um, doon narinig ko siya ulit. Tapos, alam mo na, hanap-hanap sa internet. Yan. Okay. Yun ko sila unang narinig. So, Odesk pa dati. 2008 pa. Okay. Hindi pa masyadong sikat. Upwork na siya ngayon. <laughs> Upwork na siya. Okay. So, nung nag-start, nung, nung first time mong narinig or na-encounter yung um, digital uh, marketing, yung online freelancing before, paano ka nag-start? So, nag-research ka and then, and then may work ka pa. May work ka pa nun, right? Sa isang company. Mm-hmm. Tapos, especially, ito nga, nag ka back and forth, no? Paano yung naging experience mo yung journey mo when you were starting and then, oo, di ba? Kasi, um, those who are also aspiring to be maybe a virtual professional or a virtual entrepreneur like you, no? Baka, baka pick up sila ng lesson. Sigurado doon sa ikikwento mong story, doon sa paano ka nag-start, tapos anong naging mga steps mo, no? In that process. Yeah. It was, it was really hard noong time ko din. Kasi, um, even though I, um, even though I, I heard a lot about online marketing, I had zero knowledge. Um, Facebook was, parang, I, I had Facebook account since 2007, 2008, nung hindi pa siya masyadong sikat. Kasi yung parang, wakalabas pa lang niya. Yung college project nga nila, Mark Zuckerberg, no? Uh, I don't know, I, I don't share a lot on Facebook. I don't, I don't use Facebook that much. I don't use social media that much. Kasi nga, um, iba yung, basta, parang ganun. So, it was a hard start for me kasi nag-work ako, tapos um, kakapangan ako lang kay Sofia. Every time I, so, ang inisip ko agad, paano ko ma-maximize yung travel time ko? Kasi I spend around 5 to 6 hours, 4 to 6 hours every day back and forth. So, um, ang ginawa ko, nag-download ako ng maraming audio talks, audio books, and then I also downloaded a lot of videos na may kinalaman sa personal development, online marketing. Kahit di ko sila naiintindihan. I just, um, para lang, alam mo yun yung travel, instead na traffic, ako, I, I, I hear about today's, today matters ni John Maxwell, yung mga ganon. And also, nakatulong din siya on, in my career so work kasi I was managing a team. Kasi 
um, I, sa BPO, I did quality, tapos training, tapos vendor management. So, nakakatulong din siya sa akin in terms of coaching my people, coaching my team, ganyan, in terms of um, paano ba yung leadership, ganon. So, yun yung una. Tapos, pag umuwi ako, instead na matutulog ako agad, syempre, pagod na pagod na ako, no? Kasi, um, yung, pag nas, yung work ko talaga, nandun din talaga ako. Parang, I give it like more than 100%. And I love my work. And I am really, and I'm also good with what I did, with what I do. Um, pag uwi ko, hindi ako matutulog talagad. Mag-aaral pa ako. So, I took courses. Um, I, I read a lot of articles online na may kinalaman sa online marketing. Tapos, um, I also ask a lot of help from other people. Yun sa mga tao na nakikita ko na hindi ko sila kilala. Um, like si Ralph Solomon, si Anne Christine Peña Redondo, I ask help from them and ask them na how did they start as well. Tapos parang sabi ko gusto ko naman kasi. <laughs> Tapos ano, may community din na tumulong sa akin. So yun, sabay-sabay siya. Um, investing in myself. Tapos talagang um, aral. Tapos execution din. Kasi a lot of things na inaral ko, I had, I had to, meron akong course na kinuha, it's about Facebook ads. I had to watch the course, like a video lang ha, for three times. Yung first time na i-watch ko siya, intindihin ko lang siya. Second time, um, yung, 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 ano, naka, naka-project na siya sa TV, tapos pino, pino-pause and play ko siya, kasi may downloadable. Tapos, naka-laptop ako, sinusundan ko siya. So, kung baga, ano yung, ano yung tinuturo, sinusundan ko pa siya sa laptop ko, pinapost and play ko. So, parang inisip ko kasi, pag laptop lang, pwede naman. Pero, parang mas mabilis lang sa akin, tapos may notebook ako. So, alam mo yun, para talagang nag-aaral na nag-post and play, tapos, gina-practice, tapos, um, ini-execute, ginagamit, yun. Um, and then, yung pangatlong watch ko naman, para mas maintin ako, baka meron akong nakalimutan. Yung ganun. So, um, ma- mahirap siya na parang, ang hi- um, ma- mahirap din siya talaga pag nag-start. Kasi, di ba, like yung book mo, yung Breaking Through, di ba? You have that book na yung sa Breakthrough. Yung unang breakthrough mo talaga, tsaka yung transition, that was the hardest. Pero, after nun, di naman ibig sabihin na wala ng challenges, di ba? Pero after nun, it becomes easier. Hindi, hindi na katulad nung una. Mahirap pa rin. Wala namang madali. Pero, um, mas, mas, mas parang nakapag-adjust ka na. Mas, mas gamay mo na. Parang ga. Correct. Kesa yung uh, zero talaga. Uh, zero to one. Ang hirap nun. <laughs> correct, 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 correct. Um, um I like what you I shared, like what no, about yung being on your, during the travel time. Uh, you listen to podcasts, uh, mga audiobooks, mga instructional guides, mga training materials. And then, uh, so, yung traffic time and then yung travel time na maximize mo talaga. Ako rin, ginagawa ko din yun. So, um, yun, sa lahat na... Even up to now. Right, Even up to now, pag lumuluwas ako ng Manila, may mga client meetings ako, ano, nagsasaksak ako ng CD sa, sa sasakyan. Tapos yung ini-USB ko. <laughs> Yan. And, and that's really Podcast. a powerful, yes, powerful use of our time. So, alam naman natin na kahit saan magpunta ngayon dito sa atin, um, traffic is everywhere, traffic is yeah. there. So, yes. instead of just complaining, use the time to really time. equip yourself and to, you know, train and uh, learn things that will help you, help you in whatever journey you are taking. Tapos, uh, right. nagustuhan ko rin yung sinabi mo na three times mong pinapanood yung isang material no kasi tama kasi, sa unang uh, right. sa unang panood um, mayroon kang overview or mayroon kang kahit papano may first glance ka second time mo napapanoorin uh, yun iba namang learnings and then meron ka ng note taking meron ka ng processing no may analysis ka na tapos sa third yung review yung mastery so yun we also suggest that uh, for you who are who is literally who's... watching right now implement that try that kasi it really works. Ako, minsan, uh, may additional pa, pang apat na beses, kung talagang gusto ko talagang ma-memorize yung mga ginagawa yes. ng mga pinapanood ko. So, it's really powerful. Yes. So, thank you for sharing Saka, that. Tsaka, pag may ginagawa ka kasi, tapos na-practice mo siya, 
Tapos pinanood mo ulit, parang ang dami mo ulit na pipick up Correct. versus yung talagang wala kang ginawa. Tapos sapat na beses mo siyang pinanood. Correct. Sinamahan pa And, natin ng yun nga, may ginawa, may action ka, either nagsulat or nag-type ka, nag-record ka. Sabi nga right. nila, it sticks um, more powerfully to our subconscious mind or to our mind when we act on something or when we do something. No? Compared to nanood lang tayo or nakinig lang tayo. Nakinig lang tayo. Right. Yung, I mean, I, I consider myself really as a fast learner. And achiever din ako when I was in school. Like, Um, so, pero, hindi, 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 hindi ko alam, ngayon ko lang na-realize na bakit hindi ko naisip yon na parang hindi, wala man lang parang na ego na, ay, alam ko na yan, wala, talagang nag-aral talaga ako kasi zero knowledge talaga ako, and, yun nga, parang nung time na nagpo-post na sa mga Facebook, kasi nag-start ako with Facebook ads eh, kasi mm-hmm. nung time na nag, na nag apply ako ng customer service, wala talaga kumukuha sa akin, tapos I was like, bakit ganun? Eh, may position ako sa BPO, ba? Diba? Parang mar- alam ko naman yung ginagawa ko. Magaling naman ako sa Excel. Kaya ko naman lahat yan. Par- tapos yung PowerPoint presentation, wala talaga kumukuha sa akin. <laughs> Siguro kasi parang ayabo mo kasi wala kumukuha sa akin. <laughs> Ayan. Parang kala mo, madali lang mag-apply, ba? Diba? Tapos, nag na yun nga. Siguro kasi madami rin competition. Correct. I think that's also one. And then, um, yung humility din na parang, ah, this is new. So, nung time na yun talaga, hindi ko talaga naiisip na. Bakit ko siya papanurin ng tatlong beses? Kasi, I felt that time na that was what I needed. And, um, nandun na rin ako siguro sa parang, my back was against the wall. Hindi naman sobra-sobra, no? Pero kasi, I, I had a job. And then, um, I, I actually talked to my husband and told him na, Um, pwede ba na mag resign ako? Kasi, syempre, alam mo naman, dito sa atin sa Philippines, even even in other countries, parang laging um, nagtutulungan, di ba, yung, 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 couple. Yung, yung couple. Correct. Tapos, even in the in businesses, di ba? So, sabi ko sa kanya, eh, si Ryan, freelancer talaga siya. Tapos, yung mga, yung sa business niya, mga racket din niya. Sabi ko, I give me only three months. Sabi ko, if if okay sa yo, ating gagawin ko. So, tapos nagresign ako. Tapos yun yung ginawa ko. Parang gun nagbigay ako ng ultimatum sa sarili ko. And then when it comes also to investing, thank you JB kasi this is also very important. Nung time na yon, I invested in a course that was worth 12,000 pesos. Nung time na yon, wala akong savings kasi I'm the eldest in the family. Tapos, um, we lost our dad early. Tapos, kakagraduate ko pa lang. Wala na akong dad. So, parang I helped my mom then um, send my my siblings to school. Tapos, nagkaroon ng sakit yung mom ko. She was diagnosed with cancer nine years ago. So, parang wala talaga akong ipon sa sarili ko because everything went to the family. And... And that was fine. Pero nung time nga na nag-start ako mag-build ng own family ko, and then I was, in, yun nga, I was about to invest in a course. 12,000, sabi ko, ang sobrang mahal nito. Alam mo, painutang ko pa yun. Wow. Painutang ko talaga yun. Promise. But I'm not saying na you do the same thing, ha? For those who are starting, kinukwento ko lang what was my journey. So, inutang ko siya. 12,000, sabi ko, napakalaki nito, 12,000. <laughs> Pero yun na yung nakukuha ko. More than that pa yung nakukuha ko kapag mga kinsenas, di ba? Alam mo naman sa BPO, medyo okay din naman yung sweldo. Um, so, sabi ko, ang laki na ito, inutang ko siya, tapos inisip ko na lang, kailangan mabawi ko to Kasi kailangan mabayaran ko yung pinagkakautangan ko. Tapos di ko sinabi sa husband ko yun na nangutang lang ako ng pambayad kasi baka niya ako payagan. O, di ba? <laughs> Pero ngayon, syempre, alam na niya. Alam niya na. Matagal na niyang alam. Tapos sinabi ko rin na parang, ay, ano, utang lang ako ganyan. Sinabi ko sa kanya nung mga time na yun, tapos ngayon I still continue investing in myself um, even if it requires me to fly to other countries and I invested in courses like worth mga 50,000, 100,000 pero it 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 means parang gusto ko lang sabihin na the education pa rin continues I still read really like yun nga pag traffic ngayon I still listen to podcasts while I'm cooking I listen to podcasts while running Um, mga ganon. Tapos, um, I still have a lot of books. I read a lot of books. I have this parang one book a week. <laughs> o, di ba? Wow. Particles, e-books. Yes. Yeah. So, parang hindi pa rin ako nagbabago. Mas lumala pa. <laughs> in terms of, di ba? So, parang okay. sabi ko 12,000 dati. Ngayon, hindi na nagmamatter yun eh. It's really, 
I don't know. I, I don't know what, what happened. Maybe you can explain. <laughs> ano yung nangyari? Actually, Siguro talagang abad. Yes. Ang ganda nung, ang ganda nung, uh, meron akong dalawang na-pick up. Una, yung humility, no? Humility na talagang we really need to equip ourselves. We really need to learn to really strive to educate ourselves. Kasi investing in ourselves, later on, the returns, the rewards, would be very, very big, no? Talagang sobrang surprise ka na. And then, uh, but it requires right. big investment also. So, nabanggit mo nga, nangutang ka. And ngayon, naririnig ko siya, very inspiring yung story kasi... 12,000 pesos. <laughs> correct. Maraming, maraming natatakot, no? To really do this um, firm and, and, you know, hard decision na they have to maybe borrow some money, or they have to take this big risk tapos uh, to really be take that courage to um uh, yung overcome the obstacle of uh, mahal yung investment o kaya minsan nakakatakot pero once you've overcome that once you've learned how to yung, yung really um nalampasan mo na and nandun sa kabila yung breakthrough so ito na nga yung rewards mo sobrang Diba? Hindi mo na ma-measure at uh, right. ikaw na ngayon, right? Ikaw na ngayon ang nagtuturo. Uh, <laughs> ikaw na ngayon ang nag-share ng iyong uh, lessons no sa sa audience, sa inyong sa iyong mga students. So, speaking of uh, right. teaching and sharing, ano, uh, Minya, can you share with us also ano yung mga programs mo, ano yung mga coaching um, courses, programs mo na ino-offer and then how do you do your your training? Mm-hmm. Yan. So, para if those who are watching and listening right now, you are interested no, to join and to be part of Nina, Nina's programs, um, the details and, and the links, will be posting them below this video. So And of course, yung Facebook ni Nina, you can reach her through that as well. So, okay. So, Nina, go ahead. Take, take the floor, please. Yay. Take the mic. <laughs> Ayan, ang dami, ang dami, dami kong gustong sabihin pa. Pero ayan, so yung mga programs, ayan, so uh, balikan lang natin konti. Sobrang bilis lang. So I started with freelancing. So nag-freelancer ako, I get paid by the hour, um, upwork, outside of work, um, referrals, ganyan. Tapos it came to a point na parang I had this um, experience with an agency. So in employ ako ng isang agency sa US. And then, itong wow. digital marketing agency na to, sobrang malaki siya and malaki rin yung mga accounts na nakukuha. Tapos, there was one time, like three or four years ago, I was handling like 20 accounts Whoa. ng advertising. So, different clients yung different niches. Um, niches, may, whatever. May <laughs> work pa nito. Part-time pa yun? Or Ay, full-time? Ay, wala na. Ah, okay. Nag-full-time ka na. Nag-resign, nag-resign na ako. Okay. Actually, hindi nga ako nag-resign, nag-awal ako. <laughs> anyway, that's that's for another interview, no? So, yeah, first time. Na, anyway, um, wala na akong work. Kasi, three, ayun nga, I asked three months from Ryan. And then, then nag-resign pala ako ng maayos. Hindi ako nag-awal. Yeah, nag-resign ako ng maayos. Anyway, okay. <laughs> um, at saan pagaling yun? Uh, siguro yun yung inisip ko na gusto kong gawin that time. <laughs> Pero hindi eh. Ayan. So, nagpaalam ako ng maayos. So, nag-stop na ako ng stop ng work. Tapos, nag-focus ako. Yun yung humingi ako ng 3 months kay Ryan. Tapos, I got hired. Yung first job ko, 18,000 pesos per month yung sweldo. Wow. Pero yung work ko, 40 hours a week. Which is fine. Oh, yeah. Same, um, same. Then. Tapos, naka-grave. Oo, graveyard shift ako. 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Pero okay. sabi ko nun, sabi ko, wow, thank you Lord. Sobrang saya ko talaga nun. Kasi parang, this means I wouldn't need to go back, diba? Kasi parang, it wasn't as much as I was earning. Yes. Pero inisip ko na lang, eh, ito yung gusto ko, diba? So, this is a, this, this is a start nung time na yun. So, yun yun. Meron akong hinahandle na 20 accounts. So, it's different, ano siya, niches, as in yung parang, merong breast augmentation, wow. mga ganyan, e-commerce, oo, oh, oh. chiropractors, dentist in the US, merong mga binibentang e-books, meron ding mga construction companies, tapos meron ding mga big brands, as in big brands in the US, tapos big marketing influencers, coaches, and authors in the US. Wow. So, 
Kasi hindi ko pwedeng panggitin yung mga pangalan nila kasi <laughs> you know, naka non-confidential time. But anyway, so nahasa talaga ako. In a, in a, there was a night na parang 256 ads yung ni-run ko. Different. So parang sabi ko, madaling araw na ako natulungan. Sabi ko, ah, nasusuka na ako. Hindi ko ito makakalimutan, JB. Kasi sinabi ko talaga to. So sukang-suka na ako sa Facebook ads. Pero nung time na yon hindi I wasn't earning 18,000 anymore. Kasi yung sa 18,000 na una kong job, hindi nil, hindi ako nagtagal doon. Parang one month lang ako. Tapos mm-hmm. hindi hindi ako pumasa sa standard nila. So okay. iyak, iyak ako noon. Sabi ko, ah, ganyan-ganyan. So, bakit hindi ako pumasa? Eh, social media lang yun. Magpo-post ka lang. Magpo-tweet ka lang ng 10 times in a day. Ganyan. Tapos hindi ako nakuha. But it was a blessing in this guys as Correct. well. So, yun nga. Nag, nag-run ako ng maraming ads. So, ang dami ko ng alam. Ang dami ko ding um, trainings na I, I needed to undergo doon sa company ko na yun, sa digital marketing agency na yun in the US. Tapos, syempre, ang dami mo niya na ads, different industries, different people. Parang ang dami ko din talagang alam. Mm-hmm. That was when I realized na, tapos yung mga tao lagi nagtatanong sa akin about Facebook ads. Now, sabi ko, parang I don't want to teach Facebook ads kasi syempre, parang, you know, you know the self-doubt, ba diba? Yung mga ating insecurities na parang baka mamaya, um, hindi ako, hindi enough yung alam ko or baka hindi ako marunong magturo or um, parang how will I ask for money from other people for the, for me to teach them. Tapos na-realize ko na parang yun nga, ang daming taong nag-reach out sa akin. Tapos I, I, I thought of creating an online course kasi paulit-ulit lang yung sinasabi ko, di ba? So parang sabi ko, ang gagawin ko is, um, ayusin ko to, kakreate ako ng online course, tapos I will make this easy for other people. Tapos I created, um, I used templates, I created my own templates, I created templates for reports, tapos talagang inaral ko siya kung paano ko siya mas ma-explain ng mas, ma, mas, mas clear mm-hmm. doon sa mga nag start pa lang. So, tapos, yung nag-trigger sa akin, Ayoko talaga siyang gawin at ilabas. Kasi parang inisip ko, I was earning okay. ba? Diba? Mm-hmm. I was earning a lot already. Tapos sabi ko, bakit ako magtuturo? Tapos, syempre, isipin ng iba parang, ba't ka magtuturo? Tapos magiging kakompetensya mo sila, ba? Diba? Parang mm-hmm. ako naman nung time na yun, hindi ko na yun naisip. Kasi parang, ang dami talagang work. Even up to now. So parang, I cannot service, I cannot provide service to every every clients, ba? Diba? Hindi ko kunin lahat yan. Tapos meron pa akong mga times na I refer my clients to friends, para mag ng ads for them. Kasi nga, it's it's too much on my plate. Tsaka kahit naman, meron pa akong ibang time. Kasi, ayoko din naman masyado dahil I also have other things to do. ba? Diba? Marami pa. So, ang nag-trigger sa akin, kasi I'm, I'm, I'm watching Grey's Anatomy, yung TV series, there was one character, si Dr. Herman, may tumor siya sa brain, tapos sobrang dami niya alam sa prenatal na um, care. Yung parang mag-oopera siya, yung baby nandun pa sa loob ng chan. So, fictional character lang naman, no? Tapos, okay. nung dahil, dahil mag, dahil mamatay na siya, <laughs> kasi nga may tumor siya sa brain, mm-hmm. nagturo, tinuro niya lahat ng alam niya doon sa isang doktor. Mm-hmm. Tapos, inisip ko, oh my gosh, baka mamatay din ako. <laughs> Iisip ko talaga. Sabi ko, kailangan, saan naman yung alam ko? So, kailangan mapasa ko din to. Parang yun yung iniisip ko. Tapos, yun yung naging trigger din for me. So, maraming factors ha. Pero isa yun sa mga naging factor na inisip ko na sayang talaga yung mga alam ko. Kaya nagturo ako. So, dun yung nag-start. Kaya wow. I created my own Facebook ads online course. Mm-hmm. And then, so, yun. Up, un- up until now, um, hindi pa namin siya nire-relaunch. Pero, kasi um, there's a lot of updates on Facebook and I would want to also incorporate that. Pero kahit hindi, na, kasi yung Facebook kasi na platform, nagbabago naman siya eh. Pero yung marketing concepts and the templates that we teach there, that we, we use there, um, yun pa rin naman yun. Diba? So, kahit kunyari business owner ka and you're listening to, to, to and what, you're watching this video, you can also use everything doon. So, yun. Number one, I have the Facebook Ads online course. We call it the Facebook Masters um, online course. And then, um, I also um, I also have a coaching program. So, dalawa yung coaching program ko. Um, the first one is yung one-on-one. We, I call it the Smart Busy VIP Coaching. So, ibig sabihin nun, parang may one-on-one tayo, tapos I help you get to 
um, the next level. But this is more of freelancing. Mm-hmm. And then yung isa naman, pwedeng freelancing, pwede ring business, pero it's a mastermind. So we call it the success squad. Mm-hmm. Um, I am partnered with Christi- with Anne Christine Peña Redondo with that. Mm-hmm. So that's um, um, success squad, mastermind din siya. So a group, parang group coaching siya with other yeah. people. Pero meron ding one-on-one coaching with me and Anne once a month. Tapos, I also online have a consult. one-on-one coaching or nag-meet? Yes, online. online. Okay. Oo, pero nag-meet kami nung mga... Pero meron kasi kami bonus. Parang mm. six months kasi yung program. If you take... If if you full... If you if you pay in full yung six months, you get one free. You only pay for five months. And then you oh, get wow. a bonus meet-up live with me and Anne. So we oh, had... Yeah. We just had our meet-up last week. Oh yeah, I saw, I saw one, your photos. Yeah. Oh. Tabo Fe 101 Tabo. Manila. Oh, it was, correct. It was super fun. Um, and then, sabi nga nung mga umaten doon, uy, baka naman pwedeng request yung lahat naman. Kasi we built a community na hindi lang, ka, hindi lang sa amin nag-revolve ni Anne yung mastermind or yung success squad. Pati sila, magkakaibigan na sila. Tapos sabi nila, pwedeng lahat din naman. Sabi ko, sige sa graduation nyo. So, wala siya sa program. Hindi siya kasama. Pero gagawin namin ni Anne, imimit namin sila live na lahat na sila magkakasama. Kasi Galing. yung iba kasi, they pay per month. So, ayun. Tapos, um, meron din, I'm not sure if you can can consider this as info products or infopreneurship pa rin. Um, I have partnered with Manila Workshops. Mm-hmm. And then, I teach Facebook ads din yes. with them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, live to. Yeah. Um, Iba-iba, minsan sa Makati, minsan sa Taguig, minsan sa Quezon City. I have a schedule on October. Ayan, It will okay. be in Butuan. <laughs> so, Butuan. yung mga taga... Yes, Butuan City in Mindanao. Yes, yes. So, yung mga taga Mindanao po dyan. Um, gusto nyo po ng live workshop. Nandyan po ako sa October. Um, sa Quezon City, nandyan po ako on July. <laughs> Ayan, July. with Manila yes. workshop. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. They- they can follow me sa Facebook. You, you, you give the link yes, naman. Yes, yes. The link sa alagay natin lang. Schedule. So, yun, live yun. Correct. Tapos, ang dami, no? Wow. Um, on, top, yeah, on top of everything, of course, I do um, my own workshops and then I also partner with other people. I, ikaw, tayong dalawa, meron din tayong mga workshops yes. together. Yes. Tapos, um, what else? On top of that, of course, I have my own digital marketing agency. Correct. So, yung digital marketing agency ko, it um, provides service to um, business owners here in the Philippines and also abroad. Yeah. Uh, so, we manage the ads for them. And then, gang focus na kami sa ads. Dati kasi, we built websites for clients. We also handle and manage their social media accounts. But now, um, we just focus on ads and... Um, mas okay siya ma-manage in terms of yung sa akin kasi para hindi kalat-kalat din yung mga meetings ko hindi kalat-kalat din yung mga process ko correct correct uh, this yun, i also have consulting um, with, with clients here as well and sa US so wow. pag mga business yeah best as business um consultant pero um i i parang i focus more on digital marketing and direct response marketing so, yung uh, not, not more on brand awareness. I'm not more on brand awareness. But of course, yun, kasama na rin siya. It's a bonus when you do your direct response marketing. Yes. There. Dami, no? Dami, no? Yun. Yes. Wow, ang galing. Thank you. Congratulations. Maraming pang iba, pwede ba nang From, sabihin? Oo oh, nga. Ano? I-post na lang natin lahat pang hitin natin, no? From, <laughs> from the person who borrowed 12,000 pesos now, ba to be being all of these information products. Um, Pero hindi yun sabay-sabay, JB. Oh, of course, ah. uh-huh. yes. Of course. Baka ma-overwhelm uh-huh. din sila. Sorry. Then, nag-start ako freelance. Tapos, I created my own agency. Yun. So, four years Ayan. kinain. Four years ba yung journey? Or? Yeah, three and a half. Oh, grabe. So, technically. So, ganun lang kaikli, ano? Okay. So, ah... Um, Sobrang saya. Okay, <laughs> eh, no? Grabe, ah. Iba talaga pag may may driving force, no? Pag may motivation, may inspiration. Especially kung si daughter at si family, di ba, ang motivation. Talagang, hindi ka, hindi ka basta-basta bibigay, eh, di ba? So... Yes. 
Pero meron akong kukwento. Sobrang sisingit ko lang to kasi I am okay, very... Sure. I, I wanna share this kasi para ma-inspire din yung mga nanonood. I mean, this is not just about freelancing or infopreneurship. This is also about um, career or family or yung kung gusto mo maging entrepreneur. Kasi ako, I, I, I also have offline businesses with my husband and with other people, partners, ganyan. Um, si Juliet Kassing, I'm, I'm sure you know her, diba? Yes. Juliet Kassing was one of the first people who who went um, yung aking one-on-one coaching program. When 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 she um, took the one-on-one coaching program, she was in Dubai. That was two years ago. She was in Dubai and then sabi niya, she was still working as an OFW admin in, in a company there. Sabi niya sa akin, parang, yun, nag-open ako ng coaching program ko and then isa siya sa mga taong nag-take noon. At that time, ang sabi ko sa kanya, so what do you want to achieve in the next six months? Sabi niya, gusto ko po miss na umuwi po ng um, January 2017. So, nung time na yun, nag-start ako na parang, syempre sabi ko, sige, gagawa natin yan, tulungan natin yan, strategies, ganyan. Sabi, pero at the back of my mind, I was hesitating and I was doubting myself and also the parang, paano ko siya matutulungan? Kasi parang, parang sa akin kasi, sobrang passionate ko in terms of yan, like sa mga coaching ko, saka sa mga students or, or sa mga clients namin, iniisip ko, paano ko sila mas matutulungan? So, sabi ko, we'll work on that. Um, two months after nung first coaching namin, bigla siyang natanggal sa work. As in, pumasok siya without knowing na pag-uwi niya, last day niya na pala. Wow. So, tapos, nung time na yun, she was scheduled to go home in, in here in Manila for a vacation lang. So, sabi niya sa akin, hindi na daw siya mag, sabi ko, I offered kasi may six months na na contract ng coaching mo. Sabi ko, Juliet, gusto mo ba, um, i-cut na natin yung, i-end na natin yung contract. Okay lang sa akin. Kasi I was thinking, baka wala, baka yung instant na ipambayad niya sa akin, um, isend sa family or what. So, nag-offer ako. Pa sabi niya, hindi, um, mas ngayon kita kailangan, mas kailangan ko to lalo ngayon. Hindi na ako mag apply Tapos, hindi niya sinabi sa family niya, hindi ito na nawala na siya ng work. <laughs> Tapos, um, she was introvert. I think she's still now. <laughs> she still is now. Um, anyway, to make the story short, Walang nakakaalam na dito sa family niya na wala na siyang work. Tapos di na siya nag-apply doon kasi gusto niya na nga yung freelancing. Umuwi siya ng Pilipinas. That time, nandun siya sa airport. Nag-send siya ng email sa akin. Tapos chinat niya ako. Sabi niya, missing niya natanggap ako sa work. Nandun na siya sa airport ha. Sa Dubai, pa-uwi ng Pilipinas. Tapos lagi kong sinasabi sa kanya, naiyak talaga ako noon. Kasi sabi, parang sinabi ko na, Tapos yung work niya, part-time lang, pero yung kinuha siya as full-time. Tapos almost, kung magkano yung sinusweldo niya sa Dubai, yun din yung sinusweldohin niya. So yeah. sabi ko, grabe dan, talaga. Sabi ko, sabi ko siguro sinusweldo siya ni Lord. Sabi ko, na parang hanggang saan mo to gusto. <laughs> Tapos nung sabi, ay, uuwi talaga si Juliet ang Pilipinas at hindi na talaga babalik dito. Tapos hindi pa alam ng pamilya niya. Binigay sa kanya. Tapos kaya ko siya sinishare, not because really of yung niya. Inisip ko din kasi na parang you, the things that we do, ako personally, yung 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 money that that people pay me for coaching and other, parang the, money yun, kinikita yun, di ba? Pero yung, the, yung parang sabi ko nga na, this is also parang a purpose na parang I was able to help someone din yes. na umuwi na dito sa Pilipinas. Tapos two years na sa dito, hindi na sa bumali. And, and She's she's doing a, a very good job in also helping other business owners grow their business um, with her writing skills. Um, so, yun. Um, na, bakit ko ba siya senior? Kasi parang gusto kong sabihin na uh, yung sa coaching that I do, it's also one of the drive na I cannot take everyone, di ba? Kasi it's, I, 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 I have to, to find time to coach you. I also have to schedule yung time and also have to bring you na to from point A to point B. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's, not, it's not overnight, diba? You cannot do it overnight. And sobrang invested ako sa mga estudyante ko tsaka sa mga coaches ko and sa mga clients ko. And I think yun yung parang like kung sinasabi kasi parang bakit? Tinatanong ko yung sarili ko din, JB, na parang um, 
ang mabana na dito ko, parang pwede ko na itong i-let go kasi yun nga, I have other businesses din. Pero sabi ko, oh, kasi these people, parang I think, I, I also have something to give eh, diba? Right. I also have something to share. So, yun din yun. Now, syempre, when we, when we are starting, we are also thinking about do we have something that we can give to other people or that, or that we can share? Do we have that self-doubt? Kasi I, I want to point that out kasi especially for those people who are starting and then they're, they're asking also themselves like, I don't want to um, charge my relative or my friend kasi I also have mga kinu-coaches na mga kinu-coach ko na sabi nila, ayoko siyang i-charge kasi friend ko siya. Sabi ko, no, you have to charge her kasi um, you are also going to provide service. Hindi mo naman nalolokohin. Kung hindi ka niya kukunin, kukuha siya ng ibang tao. And then yung ibang tao na yon, ni natin alam kung tama ba yung ibibigay or igagawin. So parang sinasabi ko, hindi mo siya lolokohin, di ba? So, might as well, charge mo yung kung ano yung charge mo sa hmm. ibang tao din. Kasi, whether they, whether they take you or not, it's, they're still going to spend marketing, diba? Marketing um, expenses with other people. So, might as well spend them with you na ikaw right. kaibigan nila at someone that they can trust and someone na alam nila na hindi sila lolokoy at someone right. na alam nila na, na makakatulong talaga sa business nila, diba? Right. So, yun. Wow. wow. And very inspiring story, no? Kasi, um, isa rin sa, sa mga tinuturo ko din sa sa aking mga programs, especially doon sa aking uh, Monetize Your Message Blueprint, um, the number one driving force of an infopreneur is the mission. So, hindi nauuna yung, yung financial rewards. It's a byproduct. It's a result of the mission. You want to help others. So, in, um, as a result, they will pay for your services, for your sharings, for your wisdom. And then, dun, dun ka magkakaroon ng rewards, ng stability. Pero, hindi dahil yun ang una mong hinabol. So, ang hinabol mo is you want to help people, you want to you know, share this lesson. Tapos yun, naging resulta is yung financial blessing. So, yun. Um, thank you. Very inspiring, no? Um, ang dami-dami ko nang napipick up. Sobra. Ang dami-daming sobrang inspiring lessons and stories. Siguro, last question ko. Um, alam ko, sobrang busy ka. Matagal na yung ating interview. Mahaba na interview. Last question lang. What are your uh, top three top three tips or advice that you can give for those who are aspiring to be like you and to learn this career of um, being a digital marketing expert or Facebook ads expert and online marketing expert. So, top three. Three, three tips. Hmm. Ano ba? Hindi <laughs> ko alam. Ang dami. Actually, marami. Oh, Siguro marami ano. Siguro ano. Um, pero... Yon, siguro to close this. Oo, oh, uh, pero yeah. yan. Sige, spread siguro. Summarize siguro natin. Um, yun nga, invest in yourself. Yeah. Um, invest in yourself. There's a lot of ways that you can invest in yourself. Hindi lang naman yan. If you need to hire someone like your mentor or coach, you can do so. Pero if you don't want, then you can also like um, join. Like, yun nga, you, you get books and then you read them and then you listen to podcasts, you educate yourself. This is not only for the people who would want to be expert or to, to be a freelancer or yung infopreneurship. Pati din sa mga business owners. Kasi most of the time, business owners then would also need to update themselves and learn more on how to manage their business better, how to provide customer service better, di ba? So yeah, number one, invest in yourself. You can never go wrong. And then number two is, um, yung surround yourself with um, people who can help you with um, whatever, with kung saan mo gustong pumunta. So, if you can join a community or if you can be with friends um, who would support you and someone to talk to if you have ideas. Um, of course, these are the people that you can trust, di ba? Mm-hmm. Kasi most of the time, parang sabi nila, di ba, entrepreneurship, infopreneurship or freelancing journey is 
lonely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, para lang may support ka, it's really a good... Ako, personally, ang dami ko din talagang support. Like, tayo, JB, di ba? Super friends. I mean, we started only with matanda ko nung live. Matanda ko nung... When, when you were still with informatics, I cannot oh, forget. No? Matanda ko ng um, one of the trainings. And then, it started from there. And then, really good friends now. And and sobrang happy ko din na nakalala ka. So, yon I mean, you don't, don't be scared to to be with people, di ba? <laughs> sobrang happy mo, di ba? Kalala mo ako. <laughs> yes. Anyway, thank you. It's really an honor. Thank you so much, JB, for the friendship, for for the partnership, for everything. Um, lastly, paano ba? Um, Siyempre, <laughs> gusto ko sabihin na parang you do your job, you do your you do your job really well. Um, you serve people. Not you serve whoever who is your receiver of service mo or ng message mo. Even if it's your client, even if it's your student, even if it's your friend, um, it's it's you always serve. And then um, you do, don't sa ano na lang yan, sab na lang. Parang don't go after the money. It will follow. Um, because when when the universe is really, really good na um, if you serve these people, even if you don't get something in return in monetary form or with other, parang it's, it's, it's good to be able to help other people with what you know. And then, even if you think na small voice ka lang or you have nothing to share, you can. Kasi there's a lot of things that's beautiful in you in your life that you can share with other people. Even if it's um, messy, even if it's sad, kahit na bad experience siya, it can still, um, you, other people can still learn from you. So, ayon There. Wow. Nako. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Nina. Thank you for the lessons, for the stories, for your sharing. I, yes. Um, I hope I did justice to your show. <laughs> oh, naman ako sobra. Um, ako, I'm inspired. <laughs> May self-doubt I'm, uh, bigla eh, no? <laughs> <laughs> Oo nga, no? <laughs> Ako, I'm inspired. Um, as I was listening, um, I can also, you know, connect and uh, really resonate with your stories. And actually, na-remind ako. Yung ibang mga nabanggit mo, it reminded me to really keep on and pushing for, push forward to this, uh, to take this journey. Kasi nga naman, merong mga tao na, yung mga OFW na gustong umuwi and they need your message. And so, yun. Uh, very inspiring. So, thank you so much, Nina. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, wow. Again, uh, yes, you're for your, for yes, your no, program. Yes, let Iba naman yung topic. <laughs> oh, that would be great, no? Um, for all the, the, pro, the programs, the lessons, the materials, your, your uh, trainings, your coaching programs, and um, those who are watching right now, the details, all the links will be posted below this video. So, and you can connect with um, Nina Mendoza. Uh, what's your your Facebook URL or website, Nina? I post na lang natin. Uh, my Facebook page, yeah, post na lang natin. Pero my Facebook page is um fb.com slash Nins Mendoza. Nins. Pero you can, okay. if you want, yeah, Nins Mendoza. If you want to be my friend, you can also add me sa um, fb.com slash Nins Mendoza officials. But you can just um, search for Nina Mendoza. Yun. Tsaka, lagay din natin sa link below. Below or above. Or sa gilid, yes. wherever. Yes, wherever. <laughs> Basta makikita ka nila at makakapag-connect sila sa'yo. So, Wow. Again, thank you very much, Nina. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. And thank you so much for your sharings and your lessons. I am uh, sure that uh, your, your sharings here hey. it will really go um, and reach people and help them and inspire them in whatever journey that they are taking right now. And so there, thank you so much also to you, to, for you who, have, who has been here and joined this, this, this interview. Thank and, you. Uh, yes. Watched, you know, from the beginning until the end. Um, thank you for sharing this and thank you in advance for sharing this material. If you learn something, if you are inspired by this story or by this video, please go ahead and share. Don't let the material, this material stop 
with you. Please share this and so that, you know, we'll spread this hope and inspiration to other people as well. And so there, of course, this is the end of the program. Thank you, Nina. Thank you, Nina. Thank you, everyone, for joining. And see you in our next episode. So before I... You're welcome. Before we leave, we want to tell you that you deserve to have the best life, but you have to be the best you.